Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So in the last video, we talked about how to make tons of pins to make Pinterest happy now. And I'm so excited about that because making tons of pins is my favorite thing to do. But now we're going to try to find out what you should be pinning. So you should try all your new stuff. You're going to take anything that you've recently listed on a e-commerce site or anything that you've published on your um, blog and do it. But then we want to also find out what pins are working for us, right? And I use a Pinterest dashboard by Christy Hill. It's free. I don't know why, but it's free. And it will tell you which pages you're getting the most traffic to from Pinterest, okay? So I recently made a whole bunch of new pins for this one. Um, I made a whole bunch of new pins for yelling at your, oh, so I have another one that is about yelling at your parents, your dementia parents, and I made a whole bunch of new pins for that. This is the one, I think it's going to come up. So five different pins for that. And it's so fun to see which pins are working, right? So you want to, I haven't seen that one happen yet. I haven't seen that one happen yet. That, this one we're going to see in a minute. And that one's doing it. Okay. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go down through all of these pages or posts or whatever and see which is getting the most traffic. Now, if you're an Etsy seller, you could try to go into your stats and figure out which ones, which of your products are the best sellers, right? Um, so that, that would be a way to go too. And then down here, you'll be able to see which of your actual pins are doing well. And I suggest that you go and you look at those pins, right? So this is going to be my showers one. This is my very best pin anywhere. Um, and it has multiple instances, right? So if we go to this one, I think this is the showers one too. Not that I'm sad about the showers one. Believe me, I'm blessed to have traffic to my blog, but I would like all of them to do this well, right? So this is a lot of impressions, almost 25, over 2,500 clicks. This is going to my Alzheimer's and Dementia Caregivers Board. You want to start to take note of that. Whenever I post an Alzheimer's or Dementia post now, I post it to the Alzheimer's and Dementia Caregivers post instead of my, or board, instead of to my Artsy Fartsy board because that one works really good for those products. So you want to start trying to think about where these pins are going, which boards they're pinning the best on, and what's happening, right? Yep, another one of those. They're not all that, I promise. Hold on, we'll look. Okay, this will be a different one. No, not a different one. See, and this is a lady, my info saved it to Alzheimer's. This is why, um, you know, Pinterest thinks these are all different ones. Maybe they're all that. Hang on. Is it changing? It's changing. All right. It's all that for right now. Those are my best Pinterest referrals. Um, these are from promoted pins. These are from my Tailwind tribes. Um, and these are from my Smart Loop. So this, this is a free dashboard. If you're doing, um, if you have a blog site or a website, you can use this to figure out which pins are going to work. If you don't have a blog site or a website, you can use the, let's go here, you can use the activity bell, right? So this is the activity bell, and this will tell me which of my pins are being shown, or being saved somewhere else. So I, this was saved to Artsy Fartsy Life. Posted to Artsy Fartsy Life. I added it to four tribes and five boards, and I scheduled it for looping because it's doing pretty well, right? Um, 
you can look up here. Oops. I need to get back into this. If I go into my activity bell, I want to go down to where it says nine of my pins were saved. So fun. Okay. So this shows that this pin has two saves and four link clicks. Now there's some big bloggers who have different criteria. They're like, if it doesn't get 10,000 saves, okay. I like if it has anything going on, right? So I scheduled this out for looping later in the month. Now, if you wanna get this, uh, I showed this in the other video, but these little sticky notes are, hold on, I'll tell you. They are called our stickies and those are in um, Chrome. The reason why I have them is because I like to be able to look at my pins and see what I've done with them, okay? All right, so now let's look at a different one. This is an old pin. I don't have a sticky on this because I haven't looked at it, um, but these ones do okay. So uh, they're already scheduled to do everything. This was back before I made a bajillion pins for every single post. But I wanted to come down here and show you like this one is cool. I made um, five different pins for this uh, help with your itchy dog paws. And they're, they're all um, doing pretty well. I think that people have trouble with itchy dog paws. And one way to figure out if Pinterest knows what your pin is about is if you look at your pin and then you come down here and you see that these are all doggy kind of health related, then you know that Pinterest has figured out that your pin is about dogs. Now it may not have gotten as far down as understanding itchy feet, but we know for sure it knows about doggy paws. Oh, look at the little puggles. Okay. Um, okay. This one is good. Okay. So this is this, I'm going to show you how to do this in my last video, what I do when I find a pin. Um, but this one, does not have a sticky note, right? So I know that this was pinned after I scheduled this to pin, right? So what I'm doing, just to recap 20 seconds from the last video, I make five to seven pins. I schedule the first one out, put a stick, I post the first one out, put a sticky note on it, say what date I pinned it, say how many boards I pinned it to, how many tribes I pinned it to, let it go. And then there's five or six more that go out over time. Well, when they show up in my activity feed like this, that somebody is doing something with them, then I want to make sure I go ahead and schedule them in Tailwind if you're using Tailwind, or you could you know, come in here and save this to a different board and use a spreadsheet and say, okay, I wanna save it to dementia caregivers. I wanna save it to dementia products. I wanna, you know, so you could do it either way. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how I use Tailwind to do this, um, but you can do it without Tailwind. Another way to find your top pins is actually in Tailwind. If you come over here, they have a very new section that they just did, and they tell you what their top pins are. So here's a shocker. It's the shower pin. I'm not mad about it, but I wish I had other good pins. Um, and so this is something I pinned for somebody else. This is something I pinned for somebody else. Um, and then flip out books. So I have not made another set of pins for flip out books, flip out pages, but I think I should because this is doing really, really well. I, before I started doing the different uh, pinning to the right ones, I personally pinned this to my own board on Marketing and Media Monsters um and we can't i mean it's hard to find uh but but that is doing pretty well right we can see that that's doing pretty well it has uh almost thirty thousand impressions and 500 clicks 500 clicks is what i care about i care that people are coming to my website to see what i'm doing i have made um this is a cold sore pin 
I have made some more cold sores. Now, the last way you can find out what pins are doing good, we're in Artsy Fartsy, is come to analytics and go to overview. And you have to have a business account to do this. If you don't know how to do a business account, look it up on the YouTube. And this will tell you, oh, there's our pin, right? That's our pin that we just saw was doing really well. So there it is. Let's see what's happening with it. Yay. So she's doing good. And now I know that that is on my Alzheimer's and dementia caregivers board. You are supposed to, Pinterest has said that you are supposed to put it on your very best board to start. This is about Alzheimer's and dementia. So putting it on this specific board, I have another dementia board. I have all kinds of stuff, but this board seems to be the one that gives them the most boost at the start. On my marketing artfully, Tara Jacobson on my other account, putting it on my marketing artfully board, which is not this specific, tends to give it a boost. So what you wanna do is you wanna post your pins to all different kinds of boards and then track and see which of your boards are actually the ones that are making you the best, uh, the best thing. Okay, so you wanna see your top pins. This is fun. I did this one um, just on a whim. I found this picture of this lady and I was like, I'm gonna make a, picture, a pin of it. And it's doing really well. Um, I'm very excited about that one. And so it's somebody else's pin. Um, and I always wonder about this. Should I, should I post other people's pins? Yes, if you wanna share this person's pin, you absolutely can. Um, this is somebody pinned it to dementia, right? So I could go ahead and schedule this out to, or I could just pin it to one of my boards right now. Let's see, dementia caregivers. Do we have dementia caregivers? Can't remember what they're called. <laughs> There we go, caregiver tips. So now I saved it. So I helped her because I saved it to a board, but I also, um, so caregiver tips for dementia. But I also am helping me because it's going to my, uh, to my blog post. Now, Pinterest has said they don't want us spamming and posting the same thing over and over and over again. So you see, I did it over here and then I had all these other pins, and then I had this one. So if I, if I, because I'm not keeping track of what I'm doing on a spreadsheet for this, if I came in and I saw it was like this one, and then two, and then the same pin, I would have totally just delete this one I just did, right? It's fine. Not hurting anything. Um, so let's go back, and there's a really cool thing you can do now. You can say, pins created in the last 30 days and see which ones are doing good. That one's doing far and away the best. This is a video pin. Um, the thing that I, oh, darn it. Sorry about that. Let's close these. Okay, and we wanna see this video pin. So last 30 days. And we're going to go to this video pin. So now the thing about this is, okay, I saved this, Tara saved this to Adult Crafts. So let's go over to me. I have different Pinterest accounts because I have different websites. Um, you don't have to have different Pinterest accounts if you don't have different websites. And also if you don't like making a bajillion different pins, which I do. Okay, pins created in the last 30 days. Uh, there's our pin, and I want to see the stats for it. So there's 45 saves. And six link clicks. <laughs> so the videos are really good at getting engagement and stuff, but they're not good at getting clicks to my actual website, which I don't love. But I'm still doing them because... Pinterest also says that doing uh, videos help. So, so hopefully that'll give you an idea of all the different ways that you can find your which pins are working for you.
And this is the second in a series of three videos. The first one was how to make pins. This is how to find which pins are doing good. And the last one is going to be how to use Tailwind to automate all this stuff because I can't do this at the volume I do without um, having some help with a scheduler. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.